Yo, what's up guys, now it's UFC, welcome back to another video. So this is a UFC 5 update video and yeah, we've just been given information about the future patch update for this game. I don't know when it's going to drop, it might drop uh, later on today. So I'm recording this video at, at midnight, it's Thursday. So I expect an update to happen in 16 hours if there is one, 6pm UK time Thursday. But um, that's usually when UFC 4 updates happen. But yeah, let's just get right into it. So EA, Hey Steve Dave, he was posting this in the official EA Sports UFC Discord. And it might be everything that's in the uh, the update, but we, we don't know for sure. Uh, he says, walking recovery after striking is getting nerfed. will prevent people from doing that thing where they throw some strikes, then immediately can move back. So basically what he's talking about is, in UFC 5 and UFC 4, by the way, you can throw, a, so you can throw strikes, frame trap your opponent when, when they're like moving their head around, getting punched about. And then you can move back and, you know, he's on about the players who like to run away after throwing strikes or back foot fighters. And, you know, it was really, it's really annoying dealing with those kind of players. So being a back foot fighter is basically getting nerfed. You know, you can't, you're not going to be able to throw strikes and run away now as easy as you used to. So I'd I like to see how that, you know, comes about when the game gets patched. Um, so yeah, there's that. So the next one he says, and the issue with sideways, uh, oh sorry, side sways causing massive increased vulnerability on the way back to the center. So that's actually something that I complained about to EA, uh, to one of the devs in the Discord. And yeah, he owned up to it. He was respectful, and he was like, you know what? I think that it, that's my fault that that you know bugs in the game. And you know, it confirmed to me that it was a bug for a second. I thought, whoa, what if this is the game? Like, what if they want you to get flash KO'd whenever you slip? And I was a bit worried, but the guy confirmed it was just a bug. Um, if you guys don't know what I'm on about, I'll quickly show you because I've got the game on already. If I go video catcher, I'm going to have to go practice mode, guys. Give me a sec. Where's learn at? No, not that. Practice mode. All right. Strike recording. All right, we're going to go. I'll tell you, it's, it's stupid. I'll go McGregor and McGregor. Real quick, and I'm I'm so glad it's gone. And I practiced it in practice mode. It's it's weird. So you probably already know what I'm on about. But when you slip and your head's kind of returning to the center, um, you've you you just get flash KO'd, and it happens to me on ranked. It's really annoying. So I'm gonna get McGregor to to slip a bunch of times, right? Like that. Actually, before I before I hit him, I'm gonna do some damage, right? Some damage, like like that, right? Then get him to slip. A few times. Yeah, right. I'm going to switch stance. Why is he not slipping? Boom. 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 Playback. There you go. And I'm going to try time my hook. So I hook him as his head's coming back to the centre, right? It's brutal, guys. It's brutal. But there's that, guys. <laughs> it's funny. Um, let me go back to my PC screen. But yeah. So he... There's that. That's finally going to go. Um, also hitting the standing headlock stamina train G. So that, that was an issue on UFC 4-2. And, you know, it came over to UFC 5 and they realized, oh, damn, it's kind of overpowered on UFC 5 because someone can put you in a standing headlock, right? Spin you around, drain all your stamina and then do an undeniable submission on you once they drop you to the ground and tap you out. And then... You know, not only not only do they tap you out, they they put you in top man, and they can just go for another submission again, and then and then eventually tap you out. It was just it was broken. Um, I I complained about that in the beta. I did give feedback. I said you can still drain people's stamina and just get a free submission. That was pretty bad. Um, so yeah, then he mentioned so for the upcoming stamina changes, they are decreasing the long term stamina for stand up striking, but not for defensive movements. So. So your punches are going to cost more stamina in this game. So your stamina will drain. You know, stamina is busted in UFC 5 at the moment. So I'm glad they're fixing that. You can't just spam combos. And yeah, I wonder if that will make attacking the body better now. Because, you know, attacking the body was kind of shit. I wonder if, if that's going to fix that issue too. Because you guys know me. I love attacking the body, you know, and draining their stamina. And then beating them up that way. But we'll see, guys. We'll just have to see. Uh, but not for defensive movements. So if you slip, you're not going to burn stamina. If you, you know, sidestep, you know, duck, any of that stuff, that's not going to burn your stamina. The only thing that's going to burn your stamina 
is throwing strikes, and I'm guessing missing your strikes and whiffing will, you know, will burn more of your stamina, of course. But yeah, guys, there's that picture. We've got this one. This is the only picture we have left. Um, so, hey, Steve Dave says, going to be more in the first... All oh, right, so that's just useless. He says, going to be even more in the first big client patch. So he's not talking about everything in this Discord. These are just the ones we could get out via server update first. Block lead, hook counter was able to be blocked. They are fixing that. Yep, I've, I noticed that whilst playing the game. Whenever someone went for a, a, a moving lead forward hook, and you and you know, in my head, I'm like, damn, I could quickly pull off the block lead hook. You know, they land the hook, and I try throwing the hook. You know, and you know you've done it right when you you thrown the hook button. Nothing's happening until they they hit your arm. It's weird. If you know what I'm on about, then you know. But you you pull the counter off successfully, and then they're able to block in time, and it just makes the counter useless. But they're gonna fix that. It's a good counter. I might make a tutorial on it. You know, once they fix that for sure. Um, I didn't include it in my counter video because it wasn't working. I didn't want to teach you guys a counter from UFC 4 that doesn't work on this game. But yeah, that's that's getting patched. Um, and yeah, guys, that's basically everything there is. If if there's any more updates, guys, I will update you guys. But let me know what you guys think. Do you think this is a W or an L from EA? EA? Oh, mate, some of these issues, you know, I, I I love UFC 5, don't get me wrong, but some of those bugs and exploits really ruined the game for me. And, you know, my record's pretty sweet and ranked. It's not bad, yeah? But most of my losses were to those silly game-breaking glitches. And, you know, I, I really shouldn't be talking about this because I've been told not to, but I know a game-breaking glitch in the game, right? And, if, hey, Steve, Dave, if you see this video, please message me on Discord. You know, I want to talk about, I want to talk about the glitch, and maybe we can get that fixed in a future update. Because people are using the glitch on PlayStation and Xbox. They're targeting streamers, and it's a really annoying exploit. Right, cool guys. That's basically at the end of this video. Um, yeah, once the game actually updates and the patch notes get released by EA Sports on their website, I'll make another video then, and I'll actually show gameplay. Um, and yeah, cause sometimes EA talk about them fixing a thing and they don't actually fix it so we'll, we'll actually see if they're capping or not but oh and also sometimes when they fix one thing another another issue comes about it's happened before the stamina drain glitch on ufc4 when you clinch it was terrible but we'll see what happens this time but yeah guys drop a like on this video make sure you subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in the next one peace